Hello, this is Todd Luck, and this is a review of the Edgar Rice Burroughs sketchbook from American Mythology. So, Edgar Rice Burroughs is, of course, the creator of Tarzan and John Carter of Mars, and American Mythology puts out comics of his lesser-known works. And this cover is actually a brand new cover by Mike Wolfer, and it is gorgeous, and it actually showcases each of the properties they've put out comics of so far. So we've got uh, Sita the Savage, a new character they created for The Land at Time Forgot. We have Loina, the M new Moon Maid, whose miniseries just wrapped up. You can check out my review of that. We have Diane the Beautiful from the Pellucidar. And we also have Carson of Venus in the back. And then we have a uh, 13 uh, character that they introduced and the new Monster Men miniseries, which is absolutely amazing. The cover is just really well rendered. I mean, Mike Wolford does a really just striking job drawing people, and it's just really plays to his strengths very well. It's nicely colored, it's attractive. And honestly, I, I am a little surprised that, you know, this has this really nice cover because, you know, for a sketchbook, a lot of times people will just, you know, throw up you know, randomly existing art on the cover. So this is a really nice bonus. And so you may be asking, what is an Edgar Rice Burroughs sketchbook? So it contains a lot of, well, sketches uh, related to the Edgar Rice Burroughs titles. So of course you have character designs in here. You have thumbnail designs for both covers and for uh, interior pages as well. And you get kind of get to see the creative process there. And it gives you behind the scene insights into how uh, photo references were used in the comics and just really cool stuff. Like for instance, Roy Allen Martinez, the artist on Monster Men actually made a miniature compound like the one from the comic to, you know, kind of see how, you know, different things would look from different angles and stuff like that. And I gotta say, this is really, really extraordinary. And I love this. And this really should like go into a museum or, or be put up for auction. I mean, so this should, I hope this still exists. I hope this was kept for prosperity because this is just so cool looking. And so, yeah, it has some of what you would expect for each of the titles that they produce. But it also goes well beyond that. So this isn't just showing you, you know, behind the scenes stuff or sketches. This is actually basically how to do comics the American mythology way. Um, this is actually Mike Wolfer sitting down and basically explaining to you how he does his scripts, showing you, you know, how to format them and explaining little things that I never knew, like why, you know, why do comic book scripts put t characters in all caps? You know, why do you use photo references? Why are thumbnails done? You know, et cetera, et cetera. And it, it really gives you a great insight into how to make a comic book. So if you're looking to write comic books or you already are writing comic books and you want some little tidbits and pointers, uh, this is a great, great comic to pick up. It's, you know, it's $4, same price as a, a regular issue, but you're going to get a lot out of it. Um, as Wolfer points out in here, there is no one right way to do any of this stuff. But a lot of what he's talking about has become standard practice for a lot of creators and a lot of companies, and it makes a lot of sense. I think most artists nowadays are working from full scripts that the writers hand them. You know, thumbnails have become a, a standard practice in some places. Uh, it should be everywhere because, <laughs> you know, you can get into a lot of trouble if the artist has a completely different idea about what that book should look like than the writer and the editor. Um, you know, and of course, photo references. I don't know how often they're used, but it is a really good idea. And again, just making sure everyone gets on that same page is so important when you're creating comics. And of course, if you're following this line of comics, yes, definitely pick this up because there's a lot in here you've never seen before. Not just, you know, the character sketches and the sketches for the backgrounds and settings and things like that, but you're also going to see uh, sketches for the upcoming Pellucidar Across the Savage Seas miniseries. You're going to see an unused Moon Maid cover. You're going to see 
but one one little drawing for uh, Beyond a Further Star, but that's good. And in the back, it does confirm that they do have plans to over the next year, which I assume means the next 12 months, to put out mini series of all five current properties they're putting out along with Beyond a Further Star. So that is really, really cool. So if you were wondering like, are they gonna do more than Land at Time for God and Carson of Venus? Absolutely, more Moon Maids coming, more everything. So that is really, really great news. So I think this is just a really, really cool little one-shot project that I think really serves a lot of different audiences. You know, like I said, if you're into the comics, get it, no matter what the level of your involvement, even if you're just into one title for some reason, this, this will give you insights into that title and will give you a preview into all the others and trust me you're going to want to read them after reading this i really wanted to go back and just reread every comic i had from this line um, and if you're looking to get into comic book scripting this is a fantastic comic to pick up i highly recommend it so that's it that's all my thoughts like and subscribe for more videos and until next time it says that they're working on something new and exciting with lovable Carson of Venus. Lovable Carson of Venus? Hmm. Carson of Venus plushie confirmed. See ya.